My name is Anthony Mink. I'm the CEO of Live Bearded. And Ezra and Molly asked me here today to talk to you guys about the experience of being a business owner. You know, I've been playing this game for 10 years. I started my first internet business in 2011. And over the last 10 years, I've had the privilege to build and sell three companies. I've, uh, I've made millions of dollars in revenue. I've lost millions of dollars. And through that process, I've really come to love the game of business. I really believe it's a special game. Um, and you know, with that, what I want to do is take a break from traffic and tactics and strategies for a minute. And I just want to talk about the experience of being an owner. I want to have a candid conversation with you guys. And ultimately, what I'd love to do is share some ideas, some strategies, some tips with you guys that I've learned through my 10-year career to help you bridge the gap from where you are currently to where you want to go. So to start, what I'd like to do is define what business is for a minute. If we're going to talk about this game of business and the experience of being a business owner, I think it's important to all have the same foundation, right? And I think Ezra said it best when he said business is nothing more than a conversation around a shared experience. At Live Bearded, we have a conversation around the experience of having a beard. Ezra has a conversation around the experience of getting older and staying beautiful and feeling beautiful. And you guys are having a conversation around the experience of whatever your customers, whatever your product is. So it's important to understand that all the activities with everything that we're doing, if you boil it down to its most purest form, ultimately it's just a conversation between two people, between a business and between its customers, its prospects. I also think it's important to note that I think of business as an intellectual sport. And the way that we win at this game, the way that we play this game, is to outthink, out strategize, out innovate, and ultimately out execute our competition, right? And today, that's what I want to talk to you guys today. I want to talk to you about how to outthink, out strategize, out innovate, and ultimately create the best year you can in 2021. In business, I think there is two primary roles. And I think all of us, uh, we, we really need to be very focused on what the purpose of our business is and what we're trying to do. And again, there's a lot of activities, but what I wanna do through this talk is I wanna to continue to keep bringing it back to really just the core fundamentals, the most simple elements. And I think, personally, the single most important thing we do in business is to build raving fans, to create a culture and a community of people that truly love what we do. They like every uh, post that we make, they comment on all of our ads, they read all of our emails, they engage with us, they buy all of our products and they share with us. And the way that we do that is by having a focus on creating an irresistible culture to build a process so we can take people from where they are, from complete strangers to raving fans, to friends, to customers, to clients, right? I think that's the most important thing. And we do that by really understanding our customers' needs, our, their wants, their values, their doubts, their fears, their insecurities. The closer we can get to our customer, the better we can understand them the more we have the opportunity to solve their problems and add value. You know, if I was to summarize building irresistible fans, I would say, or to build raving fans, I would say the most important thing you need to do is find ways to add value to your customers, to serve them, to support them. And the more that you add value to your customers, the more fans that you have, the more value that you add, that value has a funny way of turning into sales, right? And so you create this, this uh, sustainable, scalable system where you turn strangers into fans and fans into customers by adding value. And the more value you add, the more sales you're gonna generate. And once you get that system going, once you've really focused on that and you've got value creation, and you've got sales coming in, the second thing you must do is really turn that sales and that cash flow into profits. And I really think of this as the game of value, how do you serve and add value to your customers, and the game of business. How do you turn sales and profits, or sales, into profits, right? And you do that through optimizing and maximizing business operations. Um, one of the things that we do at Live Bearded is, you know, we talk about a profit culture. And I think, you know, sometimes it's uh, maybe taboo to talk about profits with your employees and to really focus on the bottom line. Um, but I think that couldn't be farther from the truth, you see, because the more that we build profits, the more that we focus on profits, the more money we have to invest into our employees, into our benefits, into our growth, into our marketing, and ultimately creates this really beautiful, sustainable cycle where we create value to our customers, we serve them, we solve their problems, that turns into sales. We turn that sales into profits by understanding how to optimize and maximize the operations of the business. The more profits we have, the more we can invest into growth, 
into adding value, into new marketing strategies, into new sales initiatives. And then the more value that we create, and it really creates this beautiful, sustainable process. But I think if you could, you know, if business is a conversation around a shared experience, if we have that foundation, then there's really only two things that we must do as business owners. We must find ways to add value to our customers. We must serve them. We must master the game of adding value. And then once we do that, we must master the game of business operations so that we can optimize and maximize our revenues and turn those into profits.